Look at that. Hello, how are you, friend? Deutsche BMW, yeah. Yeah, I drive big car. Yes. Wanker. And I've got all these white vans on my ass. Into second. Oh, God. Transito Lento. That means slow traffic. I'll check back in when I when I begin my return journey. For me it's going to be a couple of hours, for you it's going to be instantaneous. Now I haven't had lunch yet and I'm not on my way back yet, but I had to stop to work. Hello, how are you friend? Look, well, you, how, how's this for a view? That there is Spain. Not even the same country. I'll be on my way. Nice meeting you. What do I do? Do I drive around the walls or through them? I'm going to drive through the town. I have decided. I know there's another place on the other side of the walls that I had lunch with once with my significant other. Oh, Joby. Yeah, that kid, that kid had suicidal tendencies. See how he jumped out in front of my car? Okay, which way now? I do not know. Come discover Trancorza with me, because I have no idea where I am. Oh yes I do, hang on a sec. We're good, we're good. I'm gonna go left here, so there's nothing that says I can't. But I think they, they hanged people from that thing. I don't know if that's true actually. Might not be. Who knows? These streets are not made for Citroen C5 Taurus with 1 meter 86 in width. It's a wide car. Definitely. Oops, here we are. Found the way out. Yeah. This is outside the walls. Yep, I know where I am. Lunch is up ahead. Lunch. So that was lunch. And if you're still here, thank you very much for being here with me. It is a pleasure. So off I go, the return leg. Predecessor of the Kangoo. Very popular indeed. And you still see many of them on the road. This one's from 1996. So probably the one of the last expresses before the Kangoo was released. A little bit of car trivia for you there. Auto. I'm going to stop here, yeah. Go round, Englander. Yeah, I drive big car, so I'm better than you. Sometimes I, I oh god, that was, that was a horrible illustration on the wall. Ouch. Yes. Wanker. <laughs> Sorry, I'm 
I'm not usually this aggressive while driving. So I find it funny when other people do it. And I've got all these white vans on my ass. So if you're gonna overtake, do it now, for fuck's sake. Get off my ass. Pain in the backside. See, that, that generation of Corolla is still as common as muck in this country. Probably didn't see it because the sun was in, was in our faces. But you see lots of that generation of Corolla, they last. I'm not sure if they last because they're bulletproof, but I, I have no doubt that it helps. But um, I think when you've got a car that's reliable you know it's reliable you tend to take good care of it because you think this is going to last and i have to help it last i have to do my part whereas if you buy a moldy old renault which doesn't have a reputation for reliability you probably won't take care of it the way you should You're probably gonna you know it's an old car it's gonna fall apart anyway why should i bother putting money into it so then the car doesn't last and then you say see the car's a piece of crap it's unreliable because i still do do see a lot of old uh renos and fiats and things that should by now be piles of rust in some field and they're not why because their owners took care of them i know there are cars that just you know fall apart no fault of the owner but then there are other cars that just because they're of a certain brand they have an undeserved re reputation for reliability or lack of it There you go, fun's over, time to get on the motorway. Excuse me, Toyota Yaris, coming through, thank you. Sorry, just a tiny bit of schadenfreude. See that Audi A4 Avant? Yeah. Mr. Audi decided to overtake uh, both me and the Corsa in front at full speed, um, rather dangerously, because it was before a blind corner. For what? To get stuck at some traffic, some temporary traffic lights. Thank you, Mr. Aldi. So Mr. Aldi has set off into the distance, probably got his his testicles trapped in his flies, that's why he's in a hurry. So yeah, good luck to him. We're on the N108. Now if I were to follow this road all the way to the end, it would take me more or less hope. It would take me to Porto. As per usual, I switched off the camera and then interesting things popped up. In this case, it's driving beneath the uh, uh, train line and driving around hairpin bends that are so tight that I put my indicator on. Uh, inadvertently, by the way. Not cool, my friend, not cool. Anyway, this bit's easy, just leave it in gear. And just brake with your engine, and it works. Oh, come on, Skoda, you're not gonna slow me down that much, are you? Probably are. There you go, brake with your engine, keep in low gear. Actually, at an age where me and many of my friends were all already talking like very old men, we like to say, "Oh, I wish I had a house out in the country, so I didn't have to put up with all the stupidity of the city. You know, the neighbours, the noise, the expense, everything." 
dude, why, why are you, why are you braking? Why? Gather some speed. Now, if I've got a clear road, I didn't even drop down a gear. Oh yes, I was in fourth. I just stamped on the throttle and we were away. God, this engine is, is fucking awesome. Fuck me sideways. That was brilliant. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm dreading editing this video. It's got hours of footage, I'm sure of it, and it's gonna be hours and hours to try to sort out something that can resemble a proper video when I've edited out all the um, bollocks that I've spouted during the day. But what a day. What a day. On my last leg of the journey, I'm back on the A4, the very same motorway that I started the journey this morning. But it's very uneventful. This queue is miles long, kilometers long, whatever system of measurement you want to use. It's very long because there was an accident just a bit further along, well, the other way, of course. But um, yeah, that's um, Friday night for you here in Portugal. Some moron has crashed by himself. So I think someone crashed into the railings from what I could tell. I didn't stop to gawk, let me make that very clear. But yeah, now it's ruined the, week, the beginning of the weekend for some people. Oh no, hang on a sec. Transito lento. Do you know what that means? That means um, slow traffic. So yeah. So I'm getting to the end of the trip. I've been on the road for 6.30, more than two and a half hours, and I don't feel tired at all. In fact, I'm gonna get home, collect my children, and go to my mother's house. This is a Grand Tourer. In fact, it's in the name, it's a Citroen C5 Tourer. <laughs> it was a crap joke. If you're curious about um, the numbers of this trip, 447 kilometers, 5.9 liters per hundred. That doesn't sound good, but it's not bad considering today I did put pedal to the metal. I was not shy in slamming the throttle to the floor because I was in a rush. So that's a good number. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in a future video and I bid you farewell.